We come here on a day of great joy, for we celebrate not only the rite of ordination, but today is the feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And we celebrate this beautiful feast in the Jubilee Year of Mercy. And what a special grace, what a fitting time to, to celebrate an ordination. And so let us reflect on the mystery of the priesthood in, in light of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and in light of Divine Mercy. I recall just over two years ago when I became the Bishop of Marquette, I had the privilege of meeting the wonderful seminarians we have for the diocese. And I recall that one of them, now I won't mention his name, but I think he's going to be a priest pretty soon. <laughs> uh, one of them was really relieved uh, to find out that I had been named the Bishop of Marquette. And it's surprising that he was so relieved because he had never really met me before. You see, he was a little bit worried because he thought that the new bishop, whoever he might be, might make him shave off his beard. <laughs> and yet for some reason, I don't know what that is, when he saw me, yet I think his worries were put to rest. <laughs> However, as we look at the mystery of the priesthood in light of divine mercy and light of the sacred heart, a priest is someone who offers sacrifice. And so will a razor appear later in the ritual. <laughs> All kidding aside, of course. A priest is one who offers sacrifice. Because it is through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ that divine mercy is poured out upon the world. It is through the sacred heart of Christ that is wounded, that is pierced, that is broken for us, that divine mercy and grace is poured out upon the world. And the priest participates uniquely in this mystery. In this way, we might say that the priest who participates in the sacrifice of Jesus, the priest is a man with a broken heart. The priest is a man whose heart is wounded. The priest is a man whose heart is pierced. My dear sons, as you prepare yourself for priestly ministry, open your hearts to the people of God and allow your hearts to be wounded. Allow your hearts to be pierced. Allow your hearts to be broken. Now, no one, of course, goes looking for a broken heart, but it is very much at the center of the life of a priest. For as you care for the people entrusted to you, you will help them to carry the burdens in their life 
You will be at the side of a family who has just lost a loved one and their heart is broken with grief. You will walk with a spouse whose heart is broken because her husband and wife just up and walked out on them. You will walk with parents who are, are deeply worried and concerned about their children. And allow your hearts to be pierced with the sorrow that they share, because it is through that sharing in their sorrow that you will draw close to them, and that you will draw them close to Christ. And it is through your own heart that, that is pierced in sharing their own grief that you will be able to show them the infinite love of God that is poured out to them in the midst of their sorrow. And you can do this so much more if you allow your heart to be broken because you love the people entrusted to your care. Without doing so, without opening your heart to be wounded, you will remain merely a functionary. But if your heart beats with Jesus Christ, if your heart is broken like His, if your heart is pierced like His, you will be this, this vessel of infinite grace and infinite love that is poured out upon the people because you will represent even more for them the presence of Jesus Christ and the presence of his sacred heart. And another way in which you must allow your heart to be broken is sharing in our Lord's compassion and care for the lost, for those who have run away, for those who do not know God. Imagine the merciful Father who every day is worried about the prodigal son's return, and imagine the grief of his heart that he feels because his son is absent. And that his son has gone away. And there are so many people who do not know the Lord Jesus. There are so many people who have abandoned their faith. There are so many people who do not know the Lord. Does your heart break for them because they are absent? And if your heart breaks for them, you will truly be the good shepherd that goes off seeking the lost. You will truly be the good shepherd who will not rest until the sheep are found and brought back home and brought to verdant pastures. And if you do not allow your heart to be broken because the lost are absent, Again, you will be merely a functionary. The priest who participates in the mystery of divine mercy and in the mystery of the sacred heart of Jesus is one who allows his heart to be pierced, wounded, and broken in love for his people. But the priest who allows himself to be so wounded and who opens his heart so much to his people receives an intimacy with our Lord Jesus that is beyond description. 
For the more you let your heart be broken just as Christ, the more your heart is, union, is in union with His. The more you will know the Lord's love, the more you will know the Lord's mercy, the, no, the more you will be sheltered within His very sacred heart. And know an intimacy with Jesus that is indescribable. And it is from this divine intimacy where your broken heart is not something that weighs you down, not something that crushes you, but rather the very meeting place, the very meeting place with Jesus, our Lord, who pours out upon you his love, his grace, his strength, his mercy. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, please pray for your priests. so that they may know this union with the Lord and open their hearts to you. That they may open their hearts to you in the depths of the love of Christ. My dear sons, as you Approach this altar for sacred ordination. Are you willing to let your hearts be wounded? Are you willing to let your hearts be pierced? Are you willing to let your hearts be broken in love for the people entrusted to your care? And are you willing to open your heart to Jesus? to his most sacred heart, to the font of divine mercy, where you may know a love that is indescribable.